what is up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful to those who are coming here for the first time thank you so much and uh, do me a favor click the subscribe button so we can grow this motorcycle vlogging journey together so guys today's video is going to be a very quick one I'm going to show you a very bad mistake I made on the radiator of my 2019 Honda CB500X. So usually when I wash the bike and I use a spray gun, I usually have it on the wide um, sort of setting. So it sprays the water rather than directing it directly to the parts that I'm washing on the bike. But this time I didn't check that. I turned on the spray gun and rather than spreading out the water it was preset i think by the previous user on direct spray and the first place that i went to was the radiator and unfortunately it's bent some of the radiator vents on my honda cv 500x everything still runs fine but it re looks really nasty and it's done away with the black color so it's very very visible i'm going to show you what i'm talking about so guys as you can see this is what i'm talking about if you look here this other part of the radiator is normal but this part you can see it's showing silver and it has this pattern which is a pattern that the spray got to the radiator and what it, what it has done is it has wiped off the black spray that uh, was sprayed onto the radiator fence from the factory and also bent the radiator fence in uh, the opposite direction from where the spray gun was spraying the water on the radiator. I was really pissed with myself but what is done is done. The damage is there so I have to find a way of fixing it. I've looked online and there is some kind of a tool that you can use to straighten it up and so I might have to straighten it up and once that is done I think I'm gonna get a radiator guard. Something I should have done a long time ago but it's not too late. As long as it hasn't really affected the uh, the working of the radiator, that's fine. It looks like the radiator tank itself, where the water flows, is still intact because the temperature still runs normal. But it just destroys the aesthetics of the bike. So um, it's not too bad compared to if it had been hit by a stone or something, uh, and the radiator started to leak. Then that would be a big problem. But as it is, I don't have to re replace the radiator. All I have to do is to uh, maybe get them straightened up. I could even leave it like this, but I just want to straighten it up. So I'm going to get a tool online and get this thing straightened up. So let me zoom in. So um, if you look carefully, you can see where the damage has been done so i'm going to try to fix this i don't think it will be necessary to spray because i don't think that um that metal that has been used i think it's al aluminum very thin aluminum uh, fence i don't think it's going to be susceptible to rust if it's going to be let me know maybe i can find some black spray spray can just to spray it off but i'm not really interested in doing that let me know in the comments if it's going to rust but i don't think it's going to so i'll just straighten them and leave them like that and maybe just slap on um, a radiator guard um, so that is what i wanted to show you today guys be careful when you're washing your bike this might happen to you as well so guys that's the damage i wanted to show you uh, water damage from a jet spray uh, where i usually wash my bike it was a very unfortunate mistake that I don't want anyone out there to repeat. Of course, it's not caused any serious damage to the performance of the bike, but aesthetically, it doesn't look that good on a bike that is just about two years old and uh, there's just kind of a mismatch. So before you spray into your radiator, make sure that your jet spray is spraying uh, widely and not pointing to a certain one particular direction what happens is all the force of the water is going in one direction so it's much stronger and it might destroy anything that's in its way i've actually seen some of these things cut through like cardboard paper so that pressure when it's not set on a wider spray setting is pretty strong so 
guys take a cue from this and don't make the mistake i made thank you so much for watching guys if this is your first time again do me a favor click the subscribe button click the like button and leave a comment and show any experience that you've had with your own radiator and like the video and when you subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so when i upload a new video you'll be one of the first to be notified and feel free to go through my channel i have tons of videos on the honda cv500x so once again thank you for staying with me till i see you in the next video guys ride legal ride safe always peace